Good afternoon, Colorado. Welcome to another episode of What's for Lunch, the last episode of 2020, this Woo! dumpster fire of a year. This is how I'm rewarding you for surviving with kicking chicken. We got Ivy and John. Welcome. Hi. Hello. I'm going to just talk for a minute about them. Um, so I was filming my show, Restaurants Near Me, uh, Lakewood Edition, uh, about six weeks ago. And when I, when I do this show, I go to Google if I don't know the neighborhood really well and see what's the highest rated restaurants and see if they want to come on. And these guys were a 4.9 rating. I'm like, what, for a chicken place? How is that possible? So I, I DM them, ask them if, they could, if they'd be willing to, and they were. And so we filmed them, and now I know why they got 4.9. It is incredible, and you don't know this yet, but tomorrow I'm doing my top 10 best dishes of the year. That Yay. is in my top 10 Ooh. right here. Wow. So nobody knows that yet. Yay. That's um, amazing. So I'll just keep talking. You guys can go and come back in like five, 10 minutes. Oh, okay. okay. All right. <laughs> no, 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 get back here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give us a little history of, of yourselves and kicking chicken. Uh, so we started this around six months ago. Um, kicking chicken is kind of like a fast, casual fried chicken restaurant with a fusion of different influences. Um, we have some Mexican street corn, we had like some Southern influence, definitely some Asian influence in our cuisine too. And we really wanted to focus on quality, fresh, non-frozen chicken as well. So, you know, that's why I think we've made it as good as we can right now. So. Where exactly are you located? Uh, up in Lakewood, Colorado. Address. Address. Ivy, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great question. Well, I'm not asking John the phone number, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, 275 South Union Boulevard. It's kind of near Alameda and Union intersection. Yeah, but just a little bit off. The... A little bit off, yeah. Yeah, and, and you keep it really simple. Very. This is basically the whole menu, right? Pretty much. Simple menu. I've been in the restaurant industry for like 15 years, so I just know that larger menus just doesn't always equate to freshness yeah. and quality. So we, we were talking about that earlier. My <laughs> my last restaurant had one of those menus. Yeah. And it's a nightmare. Yeah, it is. I mean, the customers like it, yeah. but it's it's really hard to yeah. run a restaurant yeah. like yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, where did you get these recipes from? Uh, yeah. Me. Just late night phone calls, honestly, yeah. too. Um, you know, especially the Katsu. I was like, you know, we have fried chicken. Let's make some rice. Let's make some mac salad. Yeah. And then, bam, Just that's another entree around. right there. So. Yeah. Played around with a lot of fried chicken recipes. Um, our chicken is actually gluten-free. That wasn't the main focus of it, but it just so happens to be. Uh, we do a corn, f starch, rice flour mixture for texture purposes, and it so happens to also be gluten-free. So. so if somebody wants this sandwich gluten-free, can you do it? Uh, not at the moment. We are thinking about bringing gluten-free bread, but like the art, the, the tender, chicken itself. The chicken sure. itself is gluten-free. Yeah, I mean, uh -huh. to me, it's the next logical step. Yeah. I mean, if you already got that gluten-free, yeah. it's easy enough to get decent gluten-free yeah. bread. Right. <laughs> All right, let's talk about what you brought me for lunch. So let's talk about this right here. We'll start with the corn. This is the Mexican street corn, um, elotes. So we've done our research on that, and it's just kind of a char-grilled corn kernels, top off with some sauce, some cheese, a lime wedge, and a little bit of chili powder. Yeah. How did you decide to put elote? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And then we should have saved this for last, but we're going to go for this first. Tell them, everybody, what everything that's on here. So we have our chicken sandwich. This is kind of one of our signature items. Um, we have a tes uh, toasted Texas toast. Toasted <laughs> Texas toast. Toasted Texas toast. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and then um, some pickles, our fried chicken thigh, um, some of our slaw. We have a secret ingredients in it. Um, and then our sauce, our kicking sauce. And that's a secret too, I'm guessing? Yes, that's a secret too. <laughs> and it, there's definitely a debate out there who has the best fried chicken sandwich in town and whether it should be chicken breasts or chicken thighs. Yeah. And I, look, I, I generally like breasts better, Yeah. but you pulled off the thigh. Like, it totally worked. Yeah. It's hard to get a, a breast to be moist. There's yeah. only a few people who've pulled that off in yeah. this town. Um, all right. This is also, you know, a fusion of... of yes. So we did a um, uh, chicken and waffles, a play on it. So the, we do a bubble waffle instead of your traditional waffle. It's more just the shape of it. It's kind of like a Hong Kong style waffle. We do a savory with a cheddar jalapeno. Um, we get a side of syrup and of our kicking sauce as well, as well as a glob of butter, because everything's better with butter. <laughs> <laughs> and then people can also get just chicken tenders. Yes, tenders mm. too. And then this thing really blew my mind. 
We'll start with the slaw. So this is gonna be a Vietnamese slaw. Um, instead of a mayo-based dressing, we use a vinaigrette dressing. We top it off with fried shallots and fried peanuts. Um, right. Yeah. I mean, who would ever think in a little fried chicken place that they'd be frying shallots and putting it on there? Way slaw. different from your normal coleslaw, for yeah. sure. <laughs> and then, so this is uh, like a Hawaiian dish, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, so this is our chicken katsu. It's going to be a fried chicken over a bed of fried rice, um, max salad. There should be some uh, katsu sauce that goes over it, but John forgot the katsu sauce. I did, so. my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> I so. Right, right. <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> no, no, no. I had that yeah. sauce. It was amazing. It's yeah. delicious. It's a tangy teriyaki sauce. Yeah. So, Jesus. very good. And then, uh, no pressure, but hopefully they'll be opening up a second one in 2021. Yes, thinking about it. We're definitely looking for a different location right now. Mm -hmm. So, if D all goes DTC? Up what? DTC, yeah. Great idea. Actually, <laughs> 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 if you were anywhere near here, right, I mean, we'd be there every day. I mean, this guy, no, I hate to say this out loud, but he eats Hooters. Like, we need to support local. <laughs> <laughs> There's a time and place for Hooters. <laughs> Not when you can get this. No, we, we never eat Hooters oh, over there. Uh, what are your hours these days? Uh, we open from 10.30 to 9 p.m. every day. But we have been selling out lately, so that yes. kind of varies as well, too. So get there early. Get, get there, there early, early. yes. <laughs> uh, obviously, you're all takeout right now. I think you're going to be opening up maybe the fourth. Is the whole state? Oh, really? Is that what they're saying? Twenty-five percent. Wow. That would be Very amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because when I ate there, they threw a table outside so I could sit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it wasn't terrible. It yeah. was a little cold, but yeah. <laughs> I, it's so this stuff warms you up. Yeah. Um, delivery? Not delivery at the moment. Um, just really takeout right Good. now. Good. Take no, out. you don't need yeah. to do delivery. Yeah. Make them come to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what's your website? No website. We just no, have an what? Instagram. Yeah, we have Do a we? Website. Oh, for the menu. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not a great it's website. Chicken, yet. chicken. <laughs> Forget it. No website. No website. Go to their Instagram. At, yep. Which is kicking and chicken, right? Kicking dot chicken. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And then. Um, do you take orders uh, on your website? No. No, not it's on just currently no. phone orders or uh, walk-in orders. Do you know the phone number? Forget it. They can Google it. <laughs> you can Google it. Kick and chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Kick, <laughs> Kick and chicken. <laughs> well, here comes the best part of my okay. year. All this right. is how we finish up 2020 in style. Here we go. Big one. bites. Of course I'm out of the sandwich. <laughs> What'd you think I was going to pick out of everything here? <laughs> this is why they came. Oh, this is man. what made the top like, 10. Oh, you better get that. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. I'm going to share. Jeez. Good to see you guys. You Love too, you guys. Larry. Yeah. Thanks for having um, us here. Your episode of Restaurants Near Me Lakewood will be out uh, next week, actually. Yay. All right. Um, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, Happy New Year. We won't see you till Monday for another episode of What's for Lunch. All right. Let's eat. Yay. Ooh, crunch. You hear that crunch? <laughs>